Amber Heard wants to set the record straight. The Justice League actress took to Instagram to share her thoughts on J.K. Rowling's defense of casting Johnny Depp in the upcoming Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them franchise. Johnny's role has been questioned by fans who feel the actor should not star in the upcoming films due to his alleged history of domestic abuse. Celebrities apologizing for defending Amber Heard in the first place. Elon Musk, Jason Momoa, and etc. According to Amber, J.K. Rowling and Warner Bros. misrepresented the joint statement she and Johnny released back in 2016 following their split. To pick and choose certain lines and quote them out of context is just not right, she wrote along with a photo of the full statement for fans to read for themselves. Woman, continue to stand up and stay strong. Love, Amber, she concluded. Amber and Johnny were first linked back in 2012 and tied the knot in a secret ceremony in February 2015. In May 2016, Amber filed for a divorce citing irreconcilable differences. Shortly after the news broke of their separation, Amber filed a domestic violence restraining order against Johnny accompanied by graphic photos of her bruised face. Johnny has denied Amber's allegations of abuse and the former couple finalized their divorce in January 2017. In a joint statement, the two acknowledged their relationship was at times volatile, but always bound by love. Amber also withdrew the restraining order request against her ex-husband. Since opening up about her own experience with domestic violence, Amber has encouraged other women to find the courage to speak up. When a woman comes forward to speak out about injustice or her suffering, instead of aid, respect, and support, she will be met with hostility, skepticism, and shame. Her motives will be questioned and her truth ignored, she wrote in the December issue of Porter Magazine in 2016. In her powerful essay, Amber also promised survivors of abuse that they are not alone in their suffering. You may have suffered alone behind closed doors, but you are not alone. Amber Heard dismissed accusations Tuesday that she fabricated allegations of domestic violence against ex-husband Johnny Depp, and told a British court that the first time she struck him after years of abuse was to defend her sister from being thrown down the stairs. Taking to the witness box for a second day during Depp's libel case against a British tabloid at the High Court in London, the actress faced a barrage of questions over alleged incidents that are central to the Sun's labeling of Depp in an April 2018 article as a wife beater. She also admitted striking Depp for the first time in March 2015, after years of alleged abuse, to defend her sister, Whitney. When asked whether she had punched Depp with a closed fist, Heard conceded she had struck him after he had hit both of them. He was about to push her down the stairs, and the moment before that happened, I remembered information I had heard that he pushed a former girlfriend. I believe it was Kate Moss down the stairs, she said. Depp dated the top model in the 1990s. Depp, 57, is suing The Sun's publisher, newsgroup newspapers, and the paper's executive editor, Dan Wooton, over the article. The Hollywood star strongly denies abusing Heard and claimed in court that she had been violent to him. He was present to hear Heard's testimony. His lawyers sought to show inconsistencies in Heard's allegations, accusing her of weaving a web of lies and making this up as you go along. Heard, 34, insisted through the day that she was being truthful. I can just tell you after everything I had been through, I had been strangled, punched, sexually assaulted, among other things, she said. Laws made much of a series of video clips from an elevator at the couple's Los Angeles apartment building that she claimed showed no evidence of any injuries on Heard's face after an incident on May 21st, 2016, which ended up with police arriving on the scene. Laws also wondered why others in the building did not notice injuries in the days after. The actress has alleged that Depp threw a phone at her like he was a baseball pitcher, hitting her on the right cheek and eye. She said she wears makeup when leaving home that could have camouflaged signs of an injury. Heard also denied she had an illicit relationship with anyone during her time with Depp, specifically with either Tesla CEO Elon Musk or actor James Franco. Not that that matters much, Heard said. Laws read out text messages on May 22, 2016, in which Heard allegedly tells Musk she is going to obtain a restraining order against Depp, 
and the billionaire offers to arrange 24-7 security. Musk allegedly said the offer would stand, even if you never wanted to see me again. Anyway, sorry for being an idiot. The radio silence hurts a lot. It only matters because I really like you. Depp and Heard met on the set of the comedy The Rum Diary, released in 2011. They married in Los Angeles in February 2015. Heard filed for divorce the following year and it was finalized in 2017. In the first nine days of testimony at the High Court, Judge Andrew Nicole heard from Depp and from several current or former employees who backed his version of the events. In his testimony, Depp said he was the one being abused by Heard and that she had a history of being violent against him. Via audio recordings of the couple discussing various incidents played in court, Depp's lawyer sought to show that Heard admitted she had been violent against Depp. Heard said any contact was purely self-defense. I knew better than to fight with him about the details of the fight and what he perceived as injuries to him, she said. My job was to say sorry and get him on the track and move on to bigger things. Her denied the allegation made in court in the first week of the trial that she or one of her friends defecated on the couple's bed the morning after her 30th birthday party in April 2016. That's absolutely disgusting, Heard said. I can't imagine what kind of human being would have a sense of humor like that, other than Johnny, but I don't think that's funny. I think it's horrific. Heard suggested the feces came from one of their Yorkshire Terriers, Pistol and Boo, but that Boo had had issues ever since he had allegedly eaten some of Depp's marijuana as a puppy, or as she phrased it, since the weed. In written testimony released to the court, Heard said that at various times during the relationship, she endured punching, slapping, kicking, headbutting, and choking. She said some incidents were so severe she was afraid he was going to kill me, either intentionally or just by losing control and going too far. She said he blamed his actions on a self-created third party that he referred to as the monster. A little over three months before the trial in Johnny Depp's $50 million defamation lawsuit against Amber Heard is set to finally start. The pink-slipped Fantastic Beast actor wants Elon Musk and the American Civil Liberties Union to be pulled into the case.